And we're live, Hi everyone. This is Amateur Gamer, and I'll be returning to Amateur Gamer casting Age of Empires 2 DE. We're on the Four Lakes map, which I believe is a recent addition to the maps you have access to. But yeah, I mean, this player is already like, yeah, I'm getting a dock, I'm getting plenty of food. Anyways, for red, wait, we start out red? For red, we have Green Grinder playing as the Persians, and for blue, we have Soap playing as Chinese. Chinese is Archer, Civ, if I remember correctly. They have the. Wait, what? Sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, Archer, Civ. Okay, they have the Chokanu. And yeah, they, they start with more villagers, which could actually pay off big dividends. They had went for fish, but I guess Blue decide that fish isn't... I mean, you do need the wood to get started on the fish, and Persia is a cow... Cavalry sieve, and they start with a bit more wood and food. Actually, maybe that's how they first got started with docks. Yeah, they will need... Actually, wait, let's see. Wait, they have a lumber camp? Do they? No, 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 okay, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. It says they have villagers on wood. I'm like, where's their lumber camp? So, blue is going for a more, I guess, traditional, generic approach. Going for sheep and lumber camps. While red is going for nearby trees, sheep, and fish. Actually, that fishing ship should help pay off quite a bit. And red is also pushing the ibex towards. So red is going for ibex, blue is going for boars. And the timing of this is actually pretty good. Damn. That is pretty good. Didn't even need to garrison that villager. Sorry, I'm easily impressed. <laughs> As you probably noticed by now. Um, okay, I mean... I still don't know why that Ibex was called when... Red was also going for boar and no health. Yep, red is like, wait a minute, I need a house. How about blue? Is blue also? Nope, blue is doing just fine. I mean, 10, 10 population from the town center really helps, especially if you're used to building. Okay, so blue is going for a dock. Blue just wants to get up an economy sooner. I guess the question is... I'm curious, yeah, I was like, I'm curious when Blue will remember to build fishing boats. I'm talking this from my personal experience where I build something, I plan on doing it, and then I forget about it. <laughs> Until later, it's like, oh, wait. Actually, I would think this map would be solid for, like, Japan, right? Or any sieve that benefit from fishing boats or at least have either cheaper fishing boats or faster gathering rate because this map would really strengthen them you know ridiculous way too when you look at how much fish you have I mean if they're like really ambitious they could go for these other ones too alright speaking of which uh, let's look at the other resources so we have gold back here stone not the most defensible, especially when this is a high ground, right? If your opponent has range units. What about castle? Yikes, a castle here would be pretty annoying. So there's some... So this could be closed off, easier to close off. We have the mill. And the other... Wow, these... The location of these other resources are... I mean, let's look at blue. They have gold right here, stone right here. Yeah, blue is in a better position. I don't know if either side is 
I mean, it doesn't look like either side is bothering walling their settlements off, walling their base. So let's see. Overall, I would have to say that Blue's resources are better positioned. Like, it's easier to defend. Yes, these are a bit further away, but these two you could definitely wall in. That's their plan. What is going on? I don't think they have to worry. I mean, these. I mean, they do have the. Ah, oh, shoot. I just forgot the tech. The the citizen tech. <laughs> A loom, right? <laughs> Yikes. So, yeah, r red has. It's almost done with feudal. Blue hasn't even started. I don't know what blue is planning, though. I mean, maybe that early. I mean, that extra wood. Turning it into. the dock and one fishing ship is probably worth it I mean yes it kind of delayed the lumber camp but they were still able to gather wood closer holy cow that's six six versus three I mean to be fair blue did get the fishing boats a bit later so the the benefits from the food huh interesting Blue is just playing it safe. Wait. Why does it look like blue hardly... Oh, okay, I see. No, yeah, some of the forge bushes were hidden behind it. I was a little confused. Yeah, actually closing this off and then... I mean, blue does have to remember that forge bushes and the gold mines do disappear over time. Wait. Wait, wait. Um... Yeah, red is getting started. Okay, mining camp. Let's see. Yeah, at, at least this is wallable. The other ones, eh, I mean, I guess it is wallable. If you use these as part of your wall, right? Houses, houses, buildings. We're getting something. Are you getting a lumber camp? That's an odd location. I don't know what Blue is attempting with this guy. Huh? Lumber camp? Or... Oh, is, is Blue actually going to build a fishing Komodo dragon? Okay. Yeah, you don't want to lose those scout cavalry. That's the thing, right? Because these villagers have loom, they're not exactly that defenseless, but... Oh, this is actually not good for... Oh, you don't want to lose that. I mean, is, is one... Actually, I could check. Is one villager for... Actually, blue lost three villagers? I just don't know. Yeah, if all of these villagers attack the scout cavalry, it will almost survive, right? If they don't have loom, yeah, it's possible. Ooh, this guy is definitely... Yeah, you definitely want to run them down. Unless red, no, it's dead. Um, I don't know if it's quite worth it because red lost like three, three scout cavalry, and they are that is two hundred forty food, right? Yes, I know that if you lose villagers, it does, it does result in the drop. Oh, that's a lot of scout cavalry. It doesn't mean a drop. Oh, this is not. <laughs> they just run by. There is more scout cavalry coming. Yeah, both sides are investing a fair bit. It does look to me as though 
blue is sorry. Is red going for Castle Age yet, or just? Oh, oh no, 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 red. You have to pay attention. Actually, blue might lose a fair bit. Oh, you don't want to lose villagers now, red. I mean, training scout cavalry is like you you don't win in that, but losing villagers like this is it hurts. Let's see. So now blue is in the lead with nine kills. Actually, let's see. Let's two, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight. But there should be more. Yeah, red is like I'm just gonna build a second base here. Wait, what? I love how red and blue both built here. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, like, do they not notice? Now, if if either side, actually, wait, they don't have access to any naval combat units until castle, right? No, they have like fire galleys. Or I I don't know. I'm I'm not familiar with weak first fire galleys. Yeah, if one of them realizes, because if you could kill these fishing ships, not only do you make sure that you get more of the resources here, but, but your opponent also loses. Oh, yeah. The question is, is red, does red have the same idea? Oh, it's going to be a fire galley versus fire galley battle here. Actually building a... Eh. Actually, blue is already going for Castle Age, just as I suspected. Yeah, red is going for a lot of food. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, losing these fishing ships is expensive. And blue doesn't have. has that fishing ship garrisoned. Which is not very useful. I mean, maybe blue wanted. Yeah, red really wants control over this area. It's funny, you, you call them fire galleys, but. <laughs> you would think they'd be more effective against buildings, but okay. Actually, let's see. So red has 36. Yeah. Red seems to be doing better overall. I don't know. I mean, blue did get Castle Age first, but it doesn't seem like blue is going to make something of it. I mean, it's, it's still too early. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to tell, right? But, but red food should dominate. Like, right now... The fact that red is gathering so much food is a huge advantage because then more villagers, right? Like red only has two farms that I know of. Because rest of the food just comes from fishing ships. Oh, I see. Blue is just... I mean, blue did lose out on quite a bit of... Actually, you probably want to take out those fishing ships. What? Where is that fishing ship going? I'm so confused. Yeah, losing these fishing ships is expensive. But I mean, blue also lost a fair bit. But, I mean, red could still build more here. I guess... Red is just content with getting tons of knights. Either side got a... This is also a very weird wall-in. I mean, I wouldn't even call it a wall-in. So blue does have three town centers. Well, red is getting this one. Red has that one. So in terms of economy... You would 
think. Oh, yeah, blue is already past red. Now, if. I feel it's really hard to tell. Like, both sides are playing an interesting approach for sure. Oh, they are going to get in here. Yeah, if they get through here, that is really bad. Because this wood line is basically unprotected. Now, if blue was good, blue might be able... Uh, those crossbows aren't going to do... Uh, I feel like there's not enough. And like I said, th this should have been walled in sooner. Yeah, that's a lot of villagers lost. Ooh, that's going to be... That's going to hurt. A lot. And these knights don't die fast enough. I feel like blue is making some... And blue is also not taking advantage of this dock. I mean, that, that dock m more or less probably paid for itself, but not to the point where it's like... It was really worth it. Now, if fishing ships are built now, it might still pay off. But yeah, that's... Wow, blue lost a lot more than I thought. Blue had like 40-something villagers earlier. And this game is all over the place. I don't even know what I'm supposed to look at, right? I mean, right now, reds do a good job attacking blue's economy. Like... Blue's economy is not that strong. Yeah, red decided to just... I mean, red took a good amount of food here. Blue isn't getting any here, so that's a waste. These are going to be out soon, so I think red will need those fishing traps, or whatchamacallit. Yes, fish traps. And meanwhile, blue is blue is trying to catch up in economy. We'll see. I mean, red has been mostly harassing, right? Red has been mostly harassing. Do a good job. Yeah, spearmen don't last very long. Wait, they're they're just gonna ignore these crossbowmen? <laughs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> Sorry, had to clear my throat. Yeah, if these villagers die, oh, that is a lot of economy loss. It takes time. Even if we have three town centers, replacing even three of them just means that Red's lead will grow grow more and more. I mean, at least Blue remember to get some more fishing ships but blue is also supply blocked I feel like red is just in a really good position why okay I was like why is it red okay right red means they're oh both sides are supply blocked but look at this 55 to 42 and red is the one who's doing more harassing so it's clearly working, right? Like Blue's economy is... And Blue still only has spearmen. If these were pikemen, I would like Blue's odds in defending better. But right now, yeah, it's... And that's the thing, like Red's economy, I feel like, just isn't going to cut it. So I say that and red has like five idle villagers. <laughs> I I don't know why they're idle. I don't know if red will ever remember them. But yeah, in terms of food, red is definitely in a better position, I feel. Economy 
I mean, if Red keeps throwing away units like this, uh, it's it's not going to be. Yeah, well, Red, I don't know. I I can't I can't say that was worth it. Now Red builds an offensive castle, which after a hundred ten more stone is possible. Oh no. How many villagers does blue have left? 43. So this castle will help defend. But. That's a quite a few. Actually I don't know if those were spearmen or. Villagers that died here. It, it looked like villagers. Or at least what's left of those villagers. But yeah overall. I. I don't know if this map is... is balanced or not. I guess it's just a new way to play. I mean they do rotate the different... I mean they do rotate the maps right so... That's the thing I don't get it's like why is blue making it so... I guess to... I mean, to be fair, red tried to wall off initially, but after cutting through the wall line, yeah, it's not as relevant, but you can see that red was trying. Blue is like, screw walling in, I don't care, and then that's how those knights are really paying for themselves. Does blue have, oh no, does blue have villagers idling? Probably. That's the thing, right? Blue built the castle here. If red decides to build a castle here, what does blue have to stop it? I mean, I hope to see red be more aggressive. But we'll see whether or not. I mean, red is doing a good job slowing blue down. Though I'm not sure if it's enough, right? Yeah, and that's the other thing, like all of these wood lines are basically vulnerable. Uh, so now these are pikemen. Why? <laughs> Why are you throwing away these knights? Why not just send them in? Because these villagers will require a lot more distance to travel to get to safety. Like this wood line is, look at this, that's 10 villagers you could potentially pick off. I'm not saying you're going to pick all of them off, but if you do enough, just fight it. I, I have yet to see these wild animals really win against villagers with loom, which I think is ridiculous. I feel like these wild creatures should have like bonuses. <laughs> Watchtower. I mean, these are fire ships. Now, if they can't reach this, then yeah, that will be really annoying. So we have archery ranges. Well, actually, those are Chokanu. Okay, so there is a cast defensive castle. Red is going for Imperial Age and. Blue maybe as well. I mean, blue is definitely, yeah, blue has caught up, well, not quite caught up, but despite all the pressure is still, yeah, that, that's why I was saying, that watchtower was built a bit way too close. Put it further back, right? If they can't, because they only have a two range, watchtowers are nine range, so... That was stupid of red. So red is human. Good. It's good to know. <laughs> Wait, you're... Why are you getting archery ranges? Oh, skirmishers. Right. I was like, why? Right. Against Chokanu's skirmishers are probably a good answer. So 
So if red gets, oh, I don't know, trebuchets. Oh, yeah, red is steadily pushing forward. I like that. I mean, I guess with even better players, pro players, they could probably like already have a ridiculous lead. But I guess if pro versus pro, you probably wouldn't have the situation. I love how red is just so confident. I'm just gonna grab that. I couldn't care less. Because blue can't do anything. Wait, these are all crossbows. Does blue have a single choke a new? <laughs> I actually don't know. These are all crossbows. Did. Did blue forget about choke a news or something? Oh, you don't want to lose villagers. Actually, they're all with, within the range, aren't they? Yeah, blue can't even work this wood line. I mean, this should be... Wait, are they actually traveling that far? Yeah, blue doesn't pay attention. Oh, blue is going... But you can't work that because there's a castle there. Yep, trebuchet. I mean, red does need something to protect the trebuchet. Oh yeah, all, all of, that's a ton. Wait, that's like twenty nine and nine crossbows. And blue just doesn't have anything to defend against this. I mean, blue isn't getting like imperial age soon, so blue couldn't go for oh I don't know, trebuchet against trebuchet. Still, Cavaliers, okay, yeah, these knights are going to be pretty dangerous. Why are you, why are you pushing? <laughs> that, that makes no sense. Like, like, why lose more units than you have to? I still don't think I've seen a single Chokonu from blue. I'm just saying. I mean, I understand that... This is 2545. 40, 35. It's actually less gold. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't seen a single Chokonu. <laughs> but. Okay, see, the Archer Rangers are just to get crossbows to deal with the enemy pikemen. Oh, why? Why are you sending them? Why is there waypoint there? Why are you losing your units, Red? Oh, that's that's a massacre. Yeah, once that castle falls, which it will. I mean, not only is blue wasting a lot of stone, but their their repair rate. I mean, it's decent, but eventually they'll run out of stone. And I do think, yeah, if you have three trebuchets, they are probably going to. Out damage any repairs you you do. I'm st okay. That trebuchet will probably come out, but it it came out a little too late. And without this castle, suddenly red has a lot more map control over this area. And she does. I know red has. Uh, what do you call it? Monastery? Yeah, now red could like push forward a bit more. Red didn't get a single relic. <laughs> yeah, these cavaliers are actually scary. And without Choke of News, I mean they these guys are okay, but not that amazing. Wait, are some of these villagers also sent into battle? Yeah, now now they have this hill, which is like not so good. If red Pay his attention and send these trebuchets to take out. Does does blue have a monastery? I would assume yes, but I haven't seen any monks, so there's a very good chance no. That's a university. That's a market. Unless they build it like here. I love how red built another 
dog there. Red is like, you can't stop me. I think red... No? Yeah, red, red is like, I got 98 villagers. It's good enough. I'm just going to build up a military now. Which is a very good approach. And yeah. I think the biggest cause for Red's victory is those early harasses, they really paid off, it really slowed down Blue, and meanwhile Blue wasn't punishing Red for getting so many docks and fishing ships, and that extra food made a huge difference. And of course, you know, that and then the fact that Red got into Imperial Age first, and by the time Blue got the first trebuchet, that castle already fell, and that was huge because defensively, blue is at a horrible spot because red just has red has a bigger military and now has more map control. That's a bad combination. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good one.